friend of the show, Dean Statman with Men's Health, to run through his idea of the best gadgets at CES. We got a lot of gadgets up here, so what do you want to start with? All right, well, this is really Men's Health's idea of the best okay, gadgets. Okay. <laughs> Our, uh, we were down there at CES last week. We visited over 400 booths, 17-hour days, absolute mayhem. But we, days. we emerged with our editor's picks, and okay. these are a couple of those. Okay. So let's just dive right in. Um, yes. First of all, this is true, has been getting a lot of attention. What this is, is this? Yeah, this is the Under Armour Speed Form Velocity. Okay. And this has got our award for best connected shoe. So basically, this shoe over here, it's got a little logo, says record equipped. Yes. Basically, there's a chip here that connects this shoe to Under Armour's uh, Map My Run platform, yes. which you can also connect to Under Armour Record, which is their kind of social media network. Uh huh. So this shoe is going to record things like your distance, your speed, your cadence, all of that, and automatically upload that data. I have this shoe. You have that shoe? I mean, not this one. I have it in the women's. Okay. It's nice. It's very light. It's very comfortable. Have you done the jump around test? Yet? Um, no, not yet, but I do agree that it is a very nice shoe itself. And the connectedness is, you know, is obviously an extra perk. But yeah, and so one well, of my pick. favorite parts is the, the jump around test. What is that? Basically, with, so with fresh legs, you do the, about a series of six jumps. Okay. And that'll record, you know, your height, your power, all of that. Yeah. And then every time you want to go for a run, you can do that test again. And based on your baseline jumps, it'll tell you how much you've recovered since your last run. Does this replace the need for a smart wearable device on your wrist? No, this is different. This is not going to tell you things like, you know, it might tell you your calories for your run, but there are a lot of things you could do with like an Apple Watch or a Fitbit that obviously you won't do here, but this is very run specific. Okay, so that would maybe complement a wearable device on your wrist would complement this right here. Exactly. Okay. So moving on, uh, let's sort of keep it active. Yep. Um, this is so That's cool. heavy. So this, <laughs> so this is just straight up steel. Uh, this is a oh. bicycle lock. It's called the Ellipse from a company called Lettuce. And this is lettuce. a smart, this is a, not, not lettuce, lettuce. Like oh. <laughs> okay. So it's a smart bicycle lock. Uh, first of all, the thing, thing you'll notice is the solar panels over here. So it'll char charge itself. Oh, you might okay. be wondering why do That's you That's pretty cool. Let's show that to the camera so the camera can see. Okay. Solar panels, keep talking. So if you're wondering why do I have to charge my bicycle lock, well, the reason is this connects to your phone via Bluetooth, has about an 800 foot range, which is about three city blocks. And if someone tries to steal your bike, if this senses that your bike's being messed with, right. it'll give you an alert on your phone saying, get to your bike immediately. Someone's trying to jack your ride. Right. It also doubles as uh, a as little a dumbbell. weight. Yeah. So you can take walks <laughs> in the city while you're stealing the bike. Exactly. And what's cool about exercise. that is there's actually, a, if I can show you over here, yeah. there's a little sort of very, very hidden stealthy touchpad that lights up over here when you Ooh. touch it. And the point of that is if your phone dies, you're not stuck with a bike that's you know, tied to a pole, you can actually sure. still undo your bicycle lock. So if your okay, battery dies, I mean, if for some reason it malfunctions, then are you kind of out of luck because you can't unlock it then? Oh yeah, then then you're straight up out of luck, but right. that's, it's definitely made with those kind of safeguards oh, okay. in mind. Okay, okay. <laughs> Very cool, so, moving speaking on. Speaking of safety, yes. this is extremely cool. This is from Canary, it's their new Flex. Now you've seen things like Nest and, and all yeah. those, we love Nest, but an issue is that they, they connect to a wall or they connect to, you have to plug them in, right? Yep. Well, this is wireless. So Canary developed this in partnership with Verizon. Uh -huh. um, so this is 4G LTE, completely wireless. Yeah. You basically just mount this to a wall anywhere, inside, outside, wherever you want it to be, completely weatherproof. And then it just snaps right on. And you can move it around any orientation you want, face any direction and it basically streams live video to your phone. Okay, wait a second, let's back up here. So I thought the whole thing was you don't have to mount it to a wall. With this one? Yeah. Well, technically you don't. I mean, you can use it just like this. Okay, but you can, but additionally you said, I guess you can mount this part to a wall? Right, so let's say you want to use it to monitor, you know, the pool in your backyard, uh -huh. right? So you can just basically stick this on a table or you can mount this to the wall. You can get a couple mounts and just yeah. kind of stick it here, stick one there. It's, it's the first camera of its kind where it's completely wireless, 4G LTE, no Bluetooth, no Wi-Fi. I like the look of really this one cool. too. You have to pay for the data though to connect to it. It's very sleek. Yes, you do. Yeah. Have to pay for the data so to like to it. the AT and T bill is going to go up if you. It will go up. It will go up. Actually, your Verizon bill. Oh, it's only worth the Verizon. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, so, that's pretty cool. Let's see. Um, back to transportation. This yeah. was one of the first things we saw, and immediately it was one of our favorites. This is by Navdi. Now. Often people using GPS in their cars will use their phone, right? Mm -hmm. And how often have you had your GPS going and your phone slips out of the cup holder and falls down the side of your car and now you have no GPS and you're trying to figure out where your phone is? Dangerous situation. It's a problem. It's not fun. Okay. So with Navdi, you connect this to your phone via Bluetooth. Okay. It's got a pop-up little screen. Yeah. This goes, it's completely see-through. This goes up on your dash and there's a camera in front of here, right? Uh -huh. So put this on your dash, connect it to your phone. Yeah. And you immediately have a heads-up display. Oh. 
Something you get the display right here on the in, screen. In the glass. So you can That's see through cool. the glass as well, so you can see the road. So now you've got heads-up display uh, directions. Yeah. You've got pop-up notifications for calls and texts. When sure. people are calling and texting you, so you don't have to look at your phone. Sure. And also, because of the camera here, you can use swipe gestures. Uh -huh. So you can literally be driving like this and swiping through notifications oh, as you're going part. without that's even taking your eyes part. off the road. That's cool. Okay, let's feel this one now. What is the likelihood? This is super, super light. What is the likelihood that this would fall off the dash? This so this actually comes dash. with a dash mount that isn't connected to it right now. Okay. And it's a, it's a heavier mount. It's very slim and you can actually stick it to your dash or you can sort of secure it. There are about three different mounts that it comes with. And then it also comes with this, this cool little fancy. thing. This is fancy, I like this. Well, this actually goes on your steering wheel as well if you want to use it. And it's a little kind of uh, turny thingy. I don't know what you call them. It's called the turny thingy. A dial. Uh, dial, that, yep. that would be the proper name. Um, and so you put this on your steering wheel and you can basically use this to, again, if you don't want to do the, the gestures, you can just scroll through your notifications or your directions to see what turns are coming up next. Cool. I got a quick question though. Um, does this work better with an iPhone? versus an Android? I mean, in terms of the screen size, like are there different phones that it actually is better for than others? Well, the thing about the screen size is it's not pulling up a, it's not mirroring your phone's screen. Okay. It's got its own kind of UI, or UX rather. Oh, I see. So regardless of what you're using, That's it's gonna to it's gonna pull up in the same kind of okay, way. Okay, cool. Yeah, and but with the iPhone specifically is what I tested it with. Yeah. It'll pull up your music, it'll pull up right. your contacts. That's it's cool. it, really well integrated. You could, watch it. could you watch a music video on there? A music video? Well, that might defeat the purpose. I know, but <laughs> if you can the video, driving. maybe people in the backseat want to watch a music video. What video would you watch while driving? Taylor Swift, something Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> moving uh, on. Moving on, okay, uh, let's see. So, oh, man, this is awesome. Okay, so this is called Tribi. It's the Tribi IO. Uh -huh. It looks like a radio or like a kid's toy, right? Yeah. So, essentially what this is, is it's a hub for your smart home. Uh -huh. So, this will sync up with your, let's say you have Google Alexa, let's say you also have Google Home. Yeah. This will pull in all of those into one place. Also things like Spotify, mm -hmm. uh, it'll pull in things like Audible, mm -hmm. a whole bunch of them. And this, you can literally walk around your, your home with this and you yeah. can talk into it, whatever. You can also leave it in your kitchen. It's magnetic on the back, so you can stick it to your fridge. Uh -huh. um, cool. And that you can leave cool. notes for people in your family. And when you do, this little yellow thingy on the side actually sticks out like a flag, almost uh -huh. like an old school mailbox. Yeah. Great. So someone will see the flag and be like, oh, someone left a message for me. And they can, they can sort of check out what it is. It's quirky, it's fun. You know what would be better? Like boom box. You know what would be better is if there are sensors on the food that connect to this and, and someone like touches my ketchup and I'm like, no, put that down. <laughs> I think that would make it better. Well, 2018. You, know you can actually connect this to uh, like a crock pot, for example, because they have like connected slow yeah. cookers now. And it'll tell you when your food's ready. And one of the coolest features, if you do have a family and kids, is you can leave this upstairs by their room, and there's an app that goes with it, and there's an intercom feature. So you can Wake literally say up. in your phone, hey, dinner's ready, and this will, it'll sort of come out of here by the, by the rooms and tell them to We're come downstairs. We're gonna see this on an episode oh, of no. a Modern Family, maybe. My, <laughs> my kids are not gonna get that. They're gonna come downstairs <laughs> by themselves. All right, Dean, what else? What we else have the we dog collar. We've seen this one before. You've seen this, this before? Okay, so this is the, the Link dog collar by AK, AKC. Okay. Um, so there are a couple connected dog collars, but this one does a few extra cool things. First of all, you'll notice there's the little um, thing that you can get engraved, right. and your pet's name, and contact right. info. But basically, this is going to, again, connect to your phone. Uh -huh. um, you, can, can, you can set up a safe zone around your house or really wherever you want. You can design right. it, it's totally custom. And if your pet leaves that safe zone, you will get a notification. So okay. that little thing clips off just yeah, by, so if, you, if you turn that top part, oh, here you go, I'll show you. Wait, this. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Slide that to the side yeah, and I that did. little extra module bit comes out. Right, yeah, no, you do it. Okay. <laughs> so just like that, you, so you, ah. you charge this part and then okay. once it's finished charging, you put it in here, just lock it into place. Um, and you can switch out the collar. It doesn't necessarily have to be this collar. You can use any collar you want, right? Well, yeah, you can actually, because that's this part is separate. Right. Uh, but it's got some nice classical styling. It doesn't look like this, you know, very techy thing. Obviously, sure. a little bit on that side. Yeah. But it's also got an LED light, which is nice when you're walking your dog. You've got that light for extra visibility. If he does make a run for it, you know, you can actually remotely turn on the light. So it's right. like, okay, my dog's missing, but at least there's a, a beacon yeah. of light <laughs> coming from his collar. I think if I remember correctly too, this one isn't that expensive. A one-time cost essentially for a lot of security seems like a pretty cheap insurance policy if I remember correctly. Have we asked the dogs if they like it. Well, it, it, does, it doesn't translate from barking to English just yeah. yet, okay. but maybe the next iteration. <laughs> All right. But it's also an activity tracker, so it's oh. basically a Fitbit for your, your four-legged friend. Oh, poor guy. In case you need to know if you know the dog walker was Getting actually fat. showing up that day. Go outside next time. <laughs> Too funny. All right, what is this one? Okay, this is super cool. One of the main things at CES that we noticed is that there is so much just useless stuff, right? We found a massage chair, it was $10,000. It looked like it was designed for Professor Xavier by Lamborghini. Nice. Um, we, we saw a, a closet that was bigger than this news desk that takes about two minutes to fold a t-shirt for you. 
again, I don't even want to know how much R&D went into that. This is actually useful and it fits in your pocket. Okay. Basically, if you're hiking, if you don't have any cell service, you don't yes. have Wi-Fi or anything like that, or God forbid if there's been a natural disaster, you don't have sure. connection to um, any sort of communications, this is, it's called Gotenna, mm -hmm. and basically this connects to your phone, again, via Bluetooth. Um, and what it does is that it connects you to a separate network. So basically, you all of a sudden will have signal to send texts, to make calls, no matter where you are. And one of the coolest things about the new version, this mm -hmm. one, which is called the Mesh, mm -hmm. is that it uses Mesh technology, which basically means, let's say I have one of these, let's say you have one of these, yeah. you have one, um, and you can even sort of buy a couple and plant them all around. It creates a network, so one con communicates to the other, to the other, to the other. Sure. So if you're super remote, as long as there's a trail of these, more or less going to where the mm -hmm. next cell tower or something is, yeah. you will have service and you'll be able to get in touch with the people you have to get in touch with. Well, breadcrumbs. breadcrumbs. I feel like this might be a gift for a significant other if the significant other just happens to fall off the grid or something every now and then. <laughs> this might be a clue to them that, oh, nope, we're still on the grid, I think. That sounds like a like something specific that you're referring to. You've got someone in mind when Actually, you say that. Actually, I really don't, but it, I think that would be a use case for it. What's this Definitely. inside of my trunk, right? OK, that. so I think right, moving on to our last item here. This is yes. from a company called Outdoor Tech. Um, this is actually, you can't, you can't even buy this one yet. Uh, a bunch of these things are almost available now or pre-order, all brand spanking new. These ones, um, they're headphones, obviously. They, uh, they have great sound. We've got 40 millimeter drivers that just pump out awesome sound. You have about an eight hour battery life. But oh, the coolest great. thing about these, aside from the sort of geometric styling on the headband, which we love, it's super comfortable, uh -huh. is that they also function as walkie talkies. Oh, so that's if you're, cool. Yeah, so if you're outdoors and you have these and one of your buddies has these and you sort of go separate locations, you can, you know, come in, come in Rogue One, over and out. You can sort of do your little walkie talkie thing. Again, no cell service required or anything like that. So just a, a really cool, fun thing for outdoor people. Do you like them? How do they feel, feel on your ears? They feel fine. Yeah. They feel they're, they're, they're big. They're cushioned. I can still hear you, so they're not noise canceling or anything. Well, they're not turned on. <laughs> oh, they're not turned on. Okay, that makes sense. So they're supposed to be though. They're supposed to be turned on. Can Got you get it. them in different colors, not just blue? You can. Actually, there's a, a black one, which is super sleek. Yeah, I would like the black color. Um, okay, so what kind of market is there for all these sorts of things? I mean, in New York City, do you need do you need this for your dog? Do you need this for all of your Outdoor adventures. I'd say um, in New York City, you're probably going to be connected the majority of the time. I don't think you're going to need a, you know, an emergency device in Manhattan yeah. per se. But you know, you're going for your runs. Right. Yes. This is going to be awesome for that. You've got a home with a couple connect connected devices. I was talking to our editor in chief, who was saying that he has about 50 connected devices in his home. Wow. Yeah, I mean, lot. for that's someone huge. like that, this is the best thing you can that's buy huge. because this consolidates it all into one thing. So again, that was trivy. We don't need we don't need any of these things ever. But one day, we're just all going to have it. Everything is going to be connected, and we're Do not. Do you know what? If your bike gets stolen, yeah, you're going to be on these guys' website putting this in your shopping cart. I think Maybe. it just depends where you live. There definitely are uses, I would say, for all of these. The question is just how big is the market, and then I guess how often you can recreate that, and how hard is it to stay on top of your game in the connected connected IoT environment? I would imagine there need to be new iterations all the time. Yeah, you have to, because as soon as one, you know, like let's say Bluetooth updates, then all of a sudden everything that relies on that, you've got you to jump on that bandwagon. And again, these are just a few of the items that we gave Editor's Pick Awards to. We saw there's a motorcycle jacket called the uh, D. Air Mazzano by a company called Dainese, and it's basically got miniature airbags inside, and it's got sensors that refresh a thousand times a second, and as soon as those sensors detect that you're about to have a bit of a, a problem, those airbags deploy. And they're not huge airbags, they're gonna bounce you off the side of the freeway. They're about, you know, five centimeters off the off the jacket okay. to really protect you. That was our, our life-saving tech. We're gonna end on that note because that's that that sounds like the coolest one I've heard of so far. Very awesome. Dean Statman, brand editor for men's health. Always a pleasure. Thank you for bringing all the toys. Thanks for having us.